Hello and welcome to the Peace Security Channel everyone. Today we'll be looking at Malwarebytes Anti-Malware version 2 beta. They've released it recently and it does come with a lot of improvements and a lot of new features including a fully uh, modified user interface. So we'll just open it up. We have enabled the pro trial so we'll get the real-time protection, the website protection, and all the stuff that it comes with. Now as you can see immediately, the user interface has changed completely. This is probably to make it more user-friendly, more colorful, you know, just to impress people. Um, about this user interface, I have mixed feelings. First of all, uh, it does look pretty uh, bright and colorful and friendly but at the same time it's not really as classy as the previous user interfaces it just doesn't look that neat with all these pop-ups and all that kind of stuff it kind of looks more like uh, I mean these things kind of look more like ads so personally I don't like this kind of thing and uh, this user interface reminds me a lot of PC tools. I'm not saying it's bad, but you know, I would have liked a bit more of the old Malwarebytes type user interface with maybe these big green bars or something like that, but anyway, this is uh, what they've come up with. So we'll have to test this and uh, as you can see we can see our license here, database version, scan progress and we can see the guards that we have enabled. Now if we go in settings they give us some pretty detailed settings. You can set up your exclusions over here and in detection and protection you can choose whether or not to use their advanced heuristic engine, whether or not you want to scan within archives. To be honest you should just deselected it. it's a big waste of time and potentially unwanted programs you can treat them as malware or you can ignore their detections or you can just get a warning whichever way you want that is nice and you can enable and disable malware and website protection over here so that's pretty decent and we've got some advanced settings over here um, this thing does come with a self-protection module so you can enable this and what this will do is it will not allow any kind of malware to override malware bytes or to take over malware bytes and you know disable it or do anything with it so this will protect the application itself from being tampered by the malware so you can turn it on if you want by default it comes off I don't know for what reason maybe just to conserve resources you can delay the startup for like 15 seconds just in case your system is really slow so yeah I mean this is a pretty uh, decent product and uh, now they're looking to convert this into a one-year license so if you want to use the pro version I really suggest uh, you should go and grab a lifetime uh, license while you still have the chance because once this is released you'll have to pay every year to use the pro version just like most other antivirus products. The free version will still be available for free of cost so there's no real threat there. So right now it's pretty decent, pretty light as it used to be. I haven't noticed any system slowdown after installing this and that is important because it's supposed to act as a backup to your anti-malware product so you'll have to have two pieces of uh, well actually the memory usage is really high I didn't notice it hmm, for the moment it's using like uh, 210 megabytes that's that's like crazy but then again the Sabata maybe this is some issue that they're planning to fix. I didn't really notice any system slowdown caused by this though. But anyway, this shouldn't be the case. Definitely shouldn't take up 210 or 20 megabytes of RAM. So I really hope they work on that and address that issue by the time the full version comes out. So meanwhile we'll just test this uh, beta against some zero-day malware links and see how it responds. 
I know it's supposed to act as backup and it's not supposed to be your primary defense against malware threats, but what difference does it make? Let's uh, assume we have installed uh, fprot on our system that doesn't really do anything and this is my backup so let's see how it works. So these are all zero day malware links. I'll try them out and see how it goes. I kind of missed the old Malwarebytes interface though because it was like so neat and it was just free of any kind of unwanted crap. Which is not the case with this thing because it gives you lots of pop-ups about okay this is the news you can check out this try our backup product and blah 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 all that kind of advertising that we generally don't associate with the product like Malwarebytes. So, you know, that's the only downside I see to this new version that they're designing. Let's see if the protection module has improved because last time, well, it didn't really work that well. Okay, this one's cut. So, good work. The first piece of malware has been removed. Let's try the second one. This is a funny one avg.exe, very interesting. Malware disguised as anti-malware. Very common these days. This is a double extension file as you can see. Please kindly do not fall for these HDTV film 264x 720p lte.mp4.torrent.exe well this is a triple extension very funny it's always a good security practice to keep looking at your status bar while you're navigating it tells you if you're at the right place or not you know on the screen anyone can display anything I mean anyone can show a screen like this saying this is Google and it may be a malware website. So always make sure to check the address because there's only one address for every website. Well, it looks like our <laughs> really interesting friend has already died. Rest in peace. That's a dead link. Never mind. I haven't checked these links, so we might have a few more too. Let's hope this one works. Okay. It's a fairly big file for malware. Nowadays we're getting more and more stuff coupled along with the traditional malware code, so you know, the sizes are increasing. But never judge a malware by its size. You know, something of just uh, 40 kilobytes is good enough to just screw your system to hell. Well, that one's caught too. Lots of sality viruses out there. And the real danger of its sality is that once it infects your files, okay, this is a Bitcoin Trojan, and it's caught by Malwarebytes, that's nice. The real danger of its sality is um, once it infects a system, it's going to just override all the executable files. And every time you run them, you know, they just override even more. So as a result, they infect all your executable files and Unless you're lucky, you lose all those files. Because even if you use anti-malware to rescue the system, you'll have to delete all those files. It happened to me once and all my game executables got deleted. Damn, that was a nightmare. Okay, this is another piece of Trojan. Chat.exe It's 
Seems to be doing a good job so far. Malware bites. Okay, this is some kind of uh, fake website again. Some crap. Let's try clicking on one of these. Okay, I like Gmail. We'll allow it to run. Okay, it wants to install Adobe Flash, so I'll just skip it. Never mind. I'm not seeing any uh, web blocking so far, even with these. I'm not seeing Malwarebyte block any websites. So they still have a lot to work on. Now, Auto Run Worm. Now, these are very common in thumb drives. So watch out. If you see a file called autorun.inf on a pen drive, please just pick it up and throw it. <laughs> just kidding. Try to disinfect that with some proper anti-malware solution. Nort.exe, funny. Okay, this is another Trojan. Let's try running it. Won't work because Malwarebytes has removed it. It's good to see that the real-time protection is catching everything. Now, last time that wasn't the case. A lot of stuff was missed and then caught later on with the on-demand scanner. But this time, looks like the real time is getting everything. And it has got everything. So that's the end of our test. And uh, I'm sure we didn't have any malware that executed. Everything was blocked. So that's really good to see. So apart from the memory usage and, uh, you know, some disadvantages of the new user interface. Malwarebytes 2.0 seems to be a huge improvement, especially in the real-time protection module. The rest of stuff is still the same. You can still run your scans and updates, but um, yeah, the real-time protection seems to be much improved, and that's really nice. So let's just uh, do a scan just to show you guys how the scanner interface looks like. But I really like this. I mean, once they uh, get the final version out and make this light, I'm sure a lot of people will love to use this. So now you get uh, different categories of the scan. It's really nice. And I, the only problem I have with this interface is this bar over here. I mean, Malwarebytes never had that right. That was one of the things I really liked about Malwarebytes, the absence of this crap. But I guess everybody has to come up with this at some point, because you have to advertise your products if you want to survive in the industry. That's kind of sad. But some, the really nice thing about Malwarebytes is uh, they're still keeping their promise and they're giving out their free version to everyone. They believe malware removal should be a free service and available to everyone. So that's really nice. The only thing that Malwarebytes is missing at the moment is uh, a disinfection module. So in case you get infected with malware like Sality or something like that, it'll just straightforward delete all your files and sometimes it can delete even Windows system files stuff like that and that may take your con computer to an even worse state than what was how it was when the malware was active. So I think they even integrated Malwarebytes Chameleon into this and uh, that will allow it to run even when you've got lots of malware trying to block it from running. You know, nowadays that's very common. In an infected computer, no matter what security suite you try to install, they just block it. So Malwarebytes claims to be able to get through those kinds of things, but I haven't really put it to the test so I can't guarantee that it works. So, there you go. That's the scan. I just talked through the entire scan. It's really quick. 
Keep in mind though that it's scanning an SSD on a HDD it would take much longer. So they scan all the different objects and then they do the heuristic analysis. Different products have different types of scans and you know, it's, it's quite interesting. So yeah, it's done. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review. I'm really looking forward to this new product and I will be reviewing the final version when it comes out. And um, just comment on the video if you have any suggestions. Hit the like button, subscribe and stay tuned to the Peace Security channel.